I want to show you where I have been all morning, which is a joy to me to just spend time out here. I love it so much. This is my lavender. I had two. I didn't realize that it would even come back. The other kind did not come back because it is not cold tolerant, but the English does come back every year. And I have had Flynn is over there barking at the neighbor dog. Hey, Flynn. Hey, say hi to the audience. Flynn, say hi to our friends. Flynn. Nope, he is way too interested. I have to show you this. My husband cut holes in the fence so that he can see his neighbor friends. Macy's getting nosy too. This is my blueberry bush and this should be the year for it to be covered. I have a fig tree right there. I love figs. This is new for me, blackberries and my cucumbers. Oh my goodness, I have so many cucumbers. I'm trying to figure out how to make pickles. My granddaughter planted these flowers that we found out later grow 10 feet tall. <laughs> That's funny. That's fun, doing great. And then I plant alliums. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. But I plant those because they help to keep bugs away and I gotta tell you those flowers are beautiful so it's such a fun addition to the garden and then here is my thyme which never died over the winter and I've already dried and got an entire jar of that I love the smell it's amazing hello friends I wanted to share with you what's going on today we are going to be heading to Twin Creeks Lavender Farm where they have set up vendors and then there's also the main star of the show which is the lavender fields and I wanted to show you what's going on there and I am so excited as I have been growing my own lavender and I love the way it looks it's so pretty oh I just cut some fresh buds and give that a smell oh yeah nice I'm going to dry this and do some fun stuff with the buds the whole plant is useful and really you can even smell the lavender not just from the flowers mm. but also the whole plant this has just been so much fun for me and there's actually benefits to just smelling the lavender emotionally it can help lift your spirits it can help relax you among all the other things with the essential oils, you can ingest it, make a wonderful tea. I also wanted to share with you, there's so much going on, which is why I wanted to video this. <laughs> what is in this bowl breakfast? So I made oatmeal and on top of it, I have blueberries and bananas, peanut butter for some added protein and bee pollen. If you are not familiar with bee pollen, it I encourage you to get familiar with it because it is a powerhouse superfood doing really good things for your brain and your body and your cells and plus it is sweet I love the little flavor that it gives to the cereal by the way I'm sitting here with my mom and she's going with us to the field today mm. Can you taste the bee pollen? Mm-hmm. Good. What do you think? Good. I like it. You didn't give me a lot, but I like it. I didn't give her a lot just because I was not sure how she would feel about it. We like our oatmeal like cereal, so we add cream to it, which adds some yummy deliciousness. It's amazing. And then I sweetened it with sucanat, which is the... I have peanut butter all over. I sweetened it with sucanat, which is the sugar cane natural. So we're getting some added minerals with that sweetener as well, doing good things for our body. So I'm gonna take you along with us as we go to the lavender field and let you see what it's all about. Oh, there she is, all ready to go. Yes, she is. I love your shoes. So will you show our friends your shoes? So yeah, yeah, your shoes. All dressed What do they do? Up. Can you stomp? Stomp, stomp, stomp. Oh. They, I, I drew on them the other day. Oh. No. I drew on myself. Will you tap them for us? There you go. Oh, we're on the way. Oh, we're on the way. On the way to the lavender field. Oh, we're, we're on, on the way. way. Oh, we're on the way. On the way to lavender fields. No singing. 
sitting in the back seat. What is going on? At the Lavender Fields, you can pick your own lavender. At the Lavender Fields, you can pick your own <coughs> lavender. The back seat is sleepy, but we are on our way to the lavender farm and it's called Twin Creek Lavender Field. Twin. Or farm or field or something like that. Anyways, we are out here in the, I don't even know where we yes, are. Yes, we are out Deep here. Deep in the heart of Williamston, South Carolina. And I'm gonna show you what we got going on here. I'm excited. Yeah. I love plants and they make me happy, so. Hey, are you ready? Yeah. Are you gonna pick some lavender? Huh? You gonna pick some lavender? Uh-huh. Huh? Yeah. introduce you to my niece. This is Jenny and Jenny has her own jewelry company and tell us the name. Rain Over Me. Rain Over Me is a in for my daughter. She's Ivory Rain which is the elephant and her middle name is Rain so Rain Over Me is her before me. Oh it's cool. such a beautiful yeah. name and I love your logo as well so I'm going to show the viewers, can they order online? Where, uh, where can they order? They can message me directly on Instagram or Facebook and I will happily um, put an order together for you and work with you as far as like the stones go. I deal with authentic semi-precious stones and high allergenic metals. Um, but it can be ordered online um, through Facebook or Instagram. I will put her link in the description below so that you can reach out to her directly. Isn't it pretty? She will customize, okay. so she's putting a little cross on the clasp for me. I love it! Yay. That is so pretty. Perfect. Yeah. First shirts Peter. right here. Right over here on the side. So, first Peter 5-7. I love it. Look at her hands. Oh, how cute. I love them. Look who I ran into at the market. This is Amy with Renurture. You know how much I love her products. And she has a nice display out here. Thank you. So if you live near Williamston or in this area, you need to drop by the Lavender Farm and check out her products because they are top notch. Look at these cookies made with lavender. Mm. I'm going to try the cookies. I don't know what's in them except I know there's lavender and since I have never had a lavender cookie I'm gonna try it right now mm, well they're definitely delicious <laughs> do you want some cookie never heard of a lavender cookie but you can taste the lavender really mmm they're amazing
It's time for us to go home. I'm kind of sad because I had so much fun visiting the lavender farm and ending with Mama K's. This is delicious. It's lemonade with elderberry and lavender. All things lavender, of course. But if you get a chance to work and experience the amazing benefits of lavender, I want to encourage you to try to grow some yourself or visit a farm where you can go and pick and take it home. You know, God tells us in His Word that He has every herb that we need on this earth for healing or prevention, and lavender is one of those amazing health benefits. So thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you guys so much. If you would please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and you're enjoying my content. Share this information with people that you know need to hear it, and you guys have a great day. All right, everybody has to say goodbye. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. See you next time. Say bye-bye.